<clears throat> good morning guys uh, sorry not good morning it's a good evening okay so <clears throat> so good evening uh, so let's start right so uh, uh, da, 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 da. okay so yesterday's price stayed within the lower part of Tuesday's down day right that means sellers were active but due to some good support right so basically 12,005 you know or whatever the 12,005 to 930 you know it's a good support in NQ price bounce ahead of it you know and that was a good support ES 3948 you know 3930 uh, was a good support right so obviously someone is going to buy so it doesn't mean that buyers are in control but we have to keep that view that somebody is buying there you know so say this this is what i mean you know buyers fought it hard yesterday right but that doesn't mean they are in control you know? sellers are in control right so essentially now entire yesterday's range and high high to low is the garbage range to trade right so if you want to be conservative right you basically wait for yesterday's high and low to be taken out right at that point you based on the real time information right you evaluate whether it's going to be fail breakout, breakout, fail breakdown, or or breakdown, you know, and then you trade accordingly outside those ranges, right? Not inside those ranges. So that's a conservative view, right? Now, if you want to become aggressive a little bit, right? Then as per Discord in the voice, pre-market voice in the morning, what we discuss the, apart from this note in addition, right? What we discuss is you can use globex high and globex low range right and then you can play that so let's let so basically break below globex low you short right if you see a fail breakdown criteria happening then you basically go long you know uh, so that's the idea you know that's the aggressiveness you can also choose to fade the levels right our aggressive sellers area preferred sellers area right but i i'm against fading aggressive buyers preferred buyers backup buyers area that means going long on those areas is not a good idea right because we know we are supposed to favor sellers more than buyers we only favor buyers if something we see it in real time fail breakdown or something really really good going on you know then we take a reactionary long otherwise we will favor sellers right so at first test you can also fade the aggressive seller area or preferred seller area and target backup buyers or preferred buyers area right but that has to be process you know you have to do that kind of thing day in day out you have to make a process around it right then you can test the first test right so this september month you know uh, i usually don't do that you know usually i fade it at the first test right but this month you know i'm waiting for confirmation i don't do first test training you know that means now you also know if you are in my discord you know what criteria to look for if you don't want to fade it at the first test then what to look for right and then uh, you you do the shorting or going long whatever you want to do right so i'll explain you later on you know uh, and then uh, russell is a rainbow market not what to trade right directionally between these levels Dream numbers, as usual, super powerful numbers, you know, they don't care. See, dream number doesn't care whether price is coming up, straight up, balancing, stair step up, stair step down. It works, it works, that's all, you know. Either it's going to work, either it's not going to work. But if it works, you can have hundreds of points, you know. Usually, that happens, right. So, 210, 235, right, that's the dream number. And look at this beauty of it. 235, 210. That's the dream number high of the day and look at the low of the day, backup buyer area. See, it is that powerful. Dream numbers are damn good, you know. So, but anyway, look at this aggressive sellers area, right? First test, done. This was also aggressive sellers area. Seller stepped in, buyer stepped in from aggressive buyers area. See that preferred buyers area and you also ahead of it, right? So when this thing happened, right? See, price spoke below it, right here, right? So, what I said when it bounced from here, I said this is a poor level, 40, 
it's not my level it should have bounced from here if it bounced from here that means top run happened but this is a poor level that means price is susceptible to come down and revisit this area and you can see the after that what happened same thing here i said this area is not good 108 see i i draw this line you know this was not my level i draw it later on but when it bounced from randomly from here it should have come down here and bounced it you know then it makes sense random bounce not gonna work that means it's it's a it's a it's a susceptible to failure you know and that is what happened here it went through it right and then pretty much that area acted as a resistance here see that one here one here and then came down finally it reached the destination right so it was supposed to nq was supposed to come to 81 or below it yesterday actually that was a pending thing from yesterday damn thing did not came down there it just bound ran, bounced randomly from 95 you know, yesterday that was also a wrong thing you know and that tells me that it's supposed to come today then or day after you know and it finally it did it went through it right that was i was hoping for today so when i took the short so my shorts was right here you know so remember this was the first test short see different arrow different arrow different arrow right even even we we spotted this long too but i did not take it you know so the idea was to wait for yesterday's range to be taken out right so i did not take a short here i did not went long here but i said in discord that if you want to really take a long right see there was a mini balance here you can see it here see that what i think one of the member one or two member you know two of the members took the long at 55 here which makes sense right but you know it's their style right so i usually don't go against it but when when you see this balancing going on here right ping pong right so price was holding this 48 area right and it's a key area that area was a key you know super important area right so price hover around it right this blue line and then it broke down right the moment it broke down right it should have gone down but instead i was watching you know because i was not interested to do business here because i was watching at this five minute candle you know uh and then uh, actually this candle right this so first candle open and close the bow it so so there is nothing i can do here right then it came down right so then i said okay fine but then you can see this tail right the candle was not good you can see this tail and then come back and close right here so something was off you know so the same candle it closed here you know in five minutes so now technically it should have gone down right but if you look under the hood this thing was rising consistently right of the open while price was balancing so something was off there you know so so i i gave some time you know i didn't do anything and then it suddenly is reversed the moment it went higher all these guys are trapped and 48 support come into a play you know at that time this was a time to go long but it's a different arrow because it requires a proper reading going against it and all this internals and recent bias right and also you are trading within the range so yesterday's range right so i didn't go long but that was a good long right so one of the member took it but then he asked where should i take a profit right so i said 66 most likely it's going to get filled and then 76 you know this area would be your target by this time when price reached here i said scale here when it reached here i said take a profit if i were you i will take a profit majority of it right and he took the profit and he is happy because after that price never visited that area again see so that's how it is you know and then my short opportunity right so i think one of the member also shorted here first test he is he was following his process right makes sense but it's a different arrow right because intraday price was going higher they are stepping up right internals were rising look at ad it was so powerful right so I would like to wait for confirmation. And this is where my confirmation. We already talked about the confirmation, right? What kind of confirmation to look for, right? So this was my short right here, right here, 66. And I also said in this quote, take a short, take some profit here, right? And then you can tail stop it, right? And then you can see how the tail stop work, you know, all the way down, right? NQ, first test, right? or confirmation based short here 175 or so right you target this low because that was a poor low right so at least it will come back here see here i said i am 
uh, where did I short actually? So my short was two point risk actually right here. Yes. So here there was a short, right? That's within the yesterday's range though, right? So it's a little bit aggressive, but you're waiting for a confirmation bar short, right? So this was a confirmation with short, right? Once price reached here, you take some profit and then here I took my real short, you know? So actually here, I had only one or two contracts, right? But here I put a 10 contract, which is right. And actually I give this trade in Discord also, you know, right here. And look at the beauty of it. Uh, let me remove this. So let me put that line back. So I said when price was coming here, I said draw a line at 105 to 109. So 105, 109 to 105, right? And then I took a short right here. Right here at 107 right here you know so and i'll show you you know so this is what i take exactly here at this point right and i said 110 said 108 was my short 110 was my stop right and i said if it stopped me out i will short it again you know if i see something right uh, but usually I use dynamic stop, right? So it's not a fixed, fixed stop, but it was two point stop in my mind, you know? And then I said, I'm going to target 990, which is this level, right? And I build out here and here, right? So five contracts, I build out here, one more contract here, and then all four over here, right? 10 contracts. And my stop was two point stop, 100 point profit, right? So, and I put it that trade in this code also, you know, right here, you know, right here. And then price went against me by one point, 111, right here. You know, and then it went down, right? So fine, you know, I had a dynamic stop anyway. So, and then, you know, it went down, right? So that's how it is, you know. So picking up the right entry at the right time, right? That is important, you know, because you can see it by that time, this internals were rising here, right? So it was around 10.50, right? So 10.50 was right around here, right? So you can see this 48, right? It held it and then price went higher. When price came down here, right? By the time internals were started trending down, right? So that was a sign and then momentum was picking up. And then obviously because of this area, it balanced it here, right? But ideally it should not have even come down here. If buyers were so strong, it should have held this 66. So remember also I said 66 is important. So which is this area, right? So the moment price break down, this was your short trade, right? And it should not even break down below this, considering this much strength in the AD, momentum holding above zero, price should not have broke down. The moment it broke down, man, this buyers are trapped. It's going to go down. And anyway, this low was poor. So it is going to come at least up to this point, right? And that is what this was your second trade right here, you know. Uh, and this one also your trade, you know, 39.55, which was somewhere two, 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 here, right? Actually, this trade also we discuss in Discord, you know, that if someone wants to trade it, you know, I think one of the uh, member, right, he took the trade here, he got stopped out. So I said, this is your chance here to short, you know, right here. I said 51 short right here, 53 put a dynamic stop. I said, do not put a fixed stop. You know, but if 53 stop, you put it and if price goes through 53 like this, see in a tail, right? Then you wait for price to come back to 48 and bail out, right? At least that way you are not losing anything like with this fake stop out thing, right? And then if it goes through it, you short again, right? And I hope he shorted it again, right? But usually he said once he stopped out, he doesn't short. But that was a short. So if you put a dynamic stop, then it was a fixed stop out. See, if you put a fixed stop, it was a fixed stop out. But if you put a dynamic stop, see, price never closed above 53 here. See, 52.25. It was a fake poke out, poke. You know? So, but depending on the day, see, you, know, you have to manage it that way. But anyway, so now it went down, right? That was another trade. And then 39.24, that was the quality day off level. Yeah. So 20 is my favorite, right? 
so here you bail out you know and then q at the time 990 11 o'clock you no know, at somewhere around this time right see here it reached 990 right so that was the exit here exit you know and done done for the day then don't mess around right because this could this area or this area could be the max because this was a backup buyer area right this was a preferred so if it goes down but considering this down move straight down it's not gonna go at the same time right it's going to do balancing and then later on come so why waste that time right take a profit here and call it a day off right and you can see it later on this dream number this was a naked dream number from the past you know past few days ago last time actually this naked dream number was from last time whenever price came to 12,000 you know, this area so back in somewhere in August right so I also keep track of naked dream number because those dream numbers were not tested in real time in RTS session those their numbers becomes naked dream number right but I still keep track of it and that's why I had this line and you can see this line once it goes through it acted as a resistance here see that line to line dream number to dream number and then finally broke through it this dream number held again to this yellow area which was exchange area right then finally here it also fought and then it goes through it right and then uh, and then this line pretty much held right which is a cyan line or a semi cyan line right and then again dream number again fighting again it held it went down right this is the area i gave it in the in rth in discord that this area is important right so you can see there was a long here once it slides through it it reacted as a resistance say that so so the, apart from pre-market notes you know you have to do the exercise in real time also right in order to do the intraday trading you have to find the levels in real time right so this middle line was not my levels right but i picked it up see so but anyway so price action played out very nicely today it was a good day today you know and uh, and okay now let's me talk about mbox wave right so hold on right so i'm looking at it first time as usual right because during the daytime nowadays i don't open the mbox wave only a few days you know only a couple of days you know or once in a while i open it right so uh, but I'm doing this because I have a few members right, who are using Mbox here, right? and then I have a full few YouTube followers also so but anyway so and nothing is fancy here right so this is just a visual tool to help you out right so you still need to know the context right what to do what not to do what to look for specifically right so yesterday right so yesterday this was a random level you know this 95 right so this area this area right it was a random level where price was holding it ideally it should supposed to come down to uh, uh, where somewhere lower actually not this 95 area you know so it was supposed to come down to 83 or something 82 you know or go below a little bit here that was it supposed to do yesterday you know it didn't do it but somehow it bounced from this 95 you know in rts that i'm talking about okay which is this area Right. So, but anyway, it was a poor level. So, I had a memory of that. Right. So, now let's talk about what happened in the overnight. Right. So, uh, overnight is you can see this was yesterday's range high. Right. And this. Right. So, I'm just drawing it. Right. The basic exercise. Right. Normal support and resistance level. And then now I'm scrolling forward. Right. So when you scroll forward right what do i what do i see here right see this volume histogram all this thing is garbage in the overnight right there is no point looking into this thing until something pops out like this but there is nothing right there is no volume there is no buying no selling you know nothing pretty much right there is no significant stuff right so all you care is what this algos right these numbers right and the signals right so here you can what is eye popping here right that's the first question what is eye popping so eye popping thing is what this algo double algos see that so a lot of red colors red algos compared to this blue algos see that you can see these arrows red 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 dot red dot red dot red dot right so there are a bunch of red dots and they are coming up where they are coming up into this yesterday's high area right so at least you know somebody is defending this area right that's the first thing to know observe right and there are a lot of selling going on correct 
then you move forward right then you what do you see so at 6 30 by 6 okay so here not 6 30 6 o'clock right what do you see some buyers started coming in right but is there a support here there is no support right so from yesterday there is no support here but overnight you can say you know what price bounce from here so this is a support right so okay fine this is a support correct now move forward and then what happened this thing was taken out again with this signal right so now at this point you know sellers have a control from here and from here both right because now one two three four five six algos right and versus two and those two did not get success anyway right so now move forward right so sorry guys i had a phone call in between so but anyway so where I was, I forgot the link now, you know, but anyway, so yes, I remember now. So now, you know, these sellers are active from here, right? There are so many algos here, correct? And versus these two buying algos, but they are took out here, right? So at least we know that something happened here, right? Now, these two areas are acted as a resistance, right? So let's say now scroll forward slowly, right? So of the open, now you can start doing your plan, right? So based on this information, right? I'm not going to talk about context or anything, right? For that, you can uh, watch the previous part of this video, right? Which levels were important and all this thing and what you should do. But based on this price action, these two are resistance, right? So at least either you do the business at these two levels or break down below this levels, right? This level, right? Because that's the only next support, right? If it breaks below, you can short, right? Or you can short here, fade it, you know? Uh, or you wait for this area to be taken out to the upside and you can use this as a pullback long right so now 8 30 there was a news right there were four or five types of different news and then this was a news driven buying right but came but it came from random place see here there was no support here right? it was a random level anyway but anyway who cares about levels right you care about this m box of algos right so there was algos here right but then it went to this resistance, right? And then let's see what happens. We had this buying coming in, right? But then despite this buying, somebody sold it, right? Why? So, because maybe this divergence, right? And why somebody bought it here? Because this divergence, right? And maybe this was going higher also, right? You can see it here, correct? So, makes sense, right? But contextually, you're not supposed to go long here. Mistake number one, right? You can blindly follow these things, right? You can get few points out, but you're not here to trade, get a few point out, right? Like this, you know, go long here and then against this resistance right here, right? So, not a valid trade, even though you see the divergence, right? If this buying was good, then let it break above. Did it break above? No, right? So, something is off, right? let's see and then what happened another algo sell algo came in right so these are the aggressive players right again they shorted where in between random level right in here right see technically this is a support now right news driven support and do you want to short right into the support right no while 10 minutes before open no right so, because when it price came down here with this algo, most likely either it's going to bounce from here or it's going to come here. And then somebody can buy too, who knows, right? So, you, now you have to wait, you know, that was my point is. And then what happened? Price came down here, right? Right before open or around open. And then you can see there is an imbalance there, right? So, somebody bought it. Right? Makes sense, right? For them, it makes sense, correct? So, somebody bought it, right? Based on this. Sorry this right then what happened now then it's interesting thing then algo came up right and then was a good buying right that was a very good buying here look at this oops man i was not supposed to see this price action but anyway uh so uh anyway so this buying came right and then now you should think at this point you should think that it should break out above this level right but then you know there are a lot of algos sitting here right so let it break out about this also and you want to see what continuation of these things histogram buying and you want to see uh, some good delta 
right then it is confirming your idea right so let's see what happens right at this point it should go higher now right based on this right and there was an imbalance here so now it's all good you know i want to see a next bar taking out all this thing you know? then i would go long otherwise something is off you know if it gets a rejection i am ready to short you know so let's see what happens see we didn't even get there right and look at this 151 148 229 right is it like 300 400 500 kind of delta no even less than this right even barely similar to this something is off now you know right and then what happened it didn't even close above it right this level came down balancing this was the algo again somebody bought it here right see i'm saying it. i'm telling right so somebody is buying it here right based on this but am i supposed to buy it here no even though this algo came up who cares right let it prove it see that's how you should evaluate you know and then what happened again somebody bought it here right but look the strength was not there right look at 25 right and then boom this was a time you know to short right here right here that's where i took the shot two contracts right here because that is what i was looking for you know despite this if it couldn't go higher right and still you are you are seeing in real time this algo developing short this guys are trapped right there at least it will come back down here and if you're lucky if it goes below more shots look at this strength see that now you this is a real strength right and look at this all gone right look at this greater than this right so this is the real strength you're looking for see now what see here somebody bought it right see these are the poor day traders i would say right and then what happened up up boom that was your second shot here right see i shorted it right here uh 109 at this bar so my shot was 10 contracts right here in this spot i said i'm going to short at 109 sorry 108 right here you know i shorted at 108 my stock was 110 dynamic stock not physical stock you know but 110 was my mental stock two point stock my target was 990 which is which was my level by the way uh, 990 this was my target and my second target was which was a max of the day which was my backup buyer area was uh, 932 to 937 this area you know this area this area right those were my target so four contracts you know i bailed out at 12,005 and the uh, another six or so i build out right here see now look at the beauty of these levels also at the same time see after that trading was over right so i'm not going to discuss all this thing right but you can see the visible thing is here you know this 9 90 was a support very good support this is also very good support you know these are the two maximum potential area for sellers to target you know to come down here right so it achieved this area right the way it came down it will bounce and it did bounce right then second time there was a divergence here see this was a good long also if you want to take it only if you know the importance of the levels then you can take a long otherwise you have to let it go look for shorts later in the day you know but this was a good long based on the levels if you know in advance that this level is important and so do this level and based on this divergence and uh, this divergence you can go long you know and target this area pretty much right and then later on you know you can see it price eventually came down to this area also right if you look at my previous part of this video you will know this levels listed there you know but anyway so that be all for today i'll see you tomorrow